Hi, it's uh, Stephen Blay, your City Councilor for Cumberland and the Chairman of OC Transpo. I've got some very exciting news uh, today uh, with Mayor Watson. The City of Ottawa has announced our procurement strategy for the Stage 2 of the Confederation Line. This is going to be the extension of LRT to Orleans all the way to Trim Road. And we've also confirmed that we're going to extend the train uh, to Moody Drive. So those of you who work for National Defense, you're going to be able to get on the train in Orleans, get off the train uh, close to headquarters, and it'll be a much better ride for you to get to work. We're also going to be uh, extending the current O train uh, south to Bowesville. If you ride the bus in Orleans, you know that a lot of your neighbors uh, ride it too. We have the highest ridership of any uh, region in the city. We're already meeting our long-term ridership goals in Orleans, uh, which is a testament to uh, the commitment Orleans uh, residents have to public transit. When you look at uh, suburban to downtown uh, trip, 68% uh, of residents use uh, OC Transpo to make that trip. That is the highest in North America and one of the biggest reasons why we're able to justify bringing the train uh, out to Orleans. LRT will connect Orleans directly to Ottawa's entertainment districts and to world-class restaurants and bars in the Byward Market. In 2010, it was uh, more likely that uh, we would soon land an astronaut on Mars than we would have uh, LRT to Orleans. It was one of the biggest reasons I ran uh, for City Council. The light rail is about a lot of things. It's about improving commute times for Orleans and Cumberland residents. It's about making our transit system more reliable so that you're not caught uh, in a bus uh, during a snowstorm or during a traffic accident. It's also about being greener. LRT will take 14,000 cars off the road and it's going to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 110,000 tons. It is by far the single biggest environmental project we're undertaking here at the City of Ottawa and it will ensure that our kids and our grandkids can not only enjoy uh, clean hair to breathe, but also the bright blue sky. The extension of the Confederation Line East is going to uh, provide a lot of benefit for uh, Orleans uh, riders. One, uh, it'll make your bus commuting shorter. The less the buses are on the road, uh, the smaller the opportunity is for those buses to run into traffic, to be slowed down by weather. And so by bringing the train out to uh, Montreal Road and, and St. Joseph, Jean d'Arc, Orleans Boulevard, Place Orleans, and uh, also Trim Road will be able to provide uh, much more reliable service to Orleans residents. The original plan was to extend light rail to Place Orleans. We're very proud to have worked with the mayor and uh, our MPP over the last few years to secure the provincial dollars to extend the train uh, to Trim Road and we're hoping uh, that the federal government will come on board uh, very soon. Our plan is to have the Orleans extension to Trim Road open in 2022 and the Western extension to Moody in 2023. The investment in Stage 2 of LRT will create a total of 21,000 person years of employment and will total 38 kilometers of new rail and 23 new stations. When Stage 1 of the O-Train Confederation line opens next year, it will be the busiest LRT in all of North America on day one. When all the elements of Stage 2 are open in 2023, 70% of Ottawa residents will be within five kilometers of a reliable, clean, quiet, comfortable, and convenient light rail transit system. Another important part of uh, today's announcement is that we hope to bundle some of the works to uh, get the ultimate design and configuration of 174 done as part of the train construction, and this would provide uh, carpool lanes along a stretch uh, of the 174. We still need the money to do that, but we're making great progress. For Ottawa, like any large city, long-term economic and environmental well-being will depend to a large degree on our transportation system. To be competitive economically and to reduce harmful pollution, cities must ensure that people, goods and services can move freely and efficiently and that cleaner transportation options are both available and attractive to users. East, West and South together.